avoided doing a makeup video because for many reasons but today I thought it'd be good might as well I'm a little puffy because I just woke up and I I have to actually be quiet because someone is sleeping which is hard for me because if you've never seen me before I usually start the video whispering and then end the video shouting because I don't understand how levels of volume work but I'll be quiet today hopefully and I also have somewhere to be soon so that'll hopefully make me not spend 30 minutes in front of the camera because I always I always start recording and say like it's gonna be 15 minutes and it's always like 27 <laughs> so I'm like okay hopefully this should work um and not that I don't want to speak myself along but to you know not keep you here all night if that's not what you want um so I'm gonna do my makeup this is how I do my makeup every single day um almost every day um Let me just, where do I even start? I never start with the same thing. I usually kind of just do whatever. But um, basically, I, sorry. Who's moving around? I start um, with, okay, so I, usually, I do my eyebrows one of two ways. I either use a very small little brush with some eyeshadow and just sort of fill it in in the line. Or if I'm feeling dramatic, just use eyeliner and today I'm feeling eyeliner. I kind of feel like a cartoon character. I feel kind of Parisian. It's kind of a cute way to fit. This is it's a belt and it's a mini skirt. Don't look. And then it's a white sock. And then my Mary Jane's on, of course. So yeah. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And you'll see that all. And then I use my adorable. My mom gave this to me because she's like, I don't use it anymore because it's dented. I'm like, girl, like, why would you throw away a perfectly good, useful, adorable little thing? But hey, more for me, you know? Actually, if you can see the dents, it was chewed on by a dog, <laughs> which is so funny. But anyways, I just, I think it looks more vintage. One brow done. It's actually quite fun. So, how do you do it? Uh, so, basically, I don't have a lot of eyebrow, if you can tell. Uh, that's not because I can't grow it. I am from the land of Croatia. My family's Croatian. Uh, we can grow hair. Let me tell you that right now. I shave off my eyebrows. Um, I'm in the process of growing them back, actually. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of hair. Um, that's just because my mom's going to miss it soon, and she doesn't like when I don't have eyebrows. It freaks her out. Um, so I'm gonna try and grow them back. Um, but I think it's a lot of fun. I feel like you look like a little alien. And then it allows you to draw your eyebrows however you want. Um, I feel like that will turn out pretty good. It's a little thick. But whatever. I really like, um, cool. This is thick. This is a thick brow, actually. Um, <laughs> but I love really thin eyebrows. My makeup look is mostly inspired by the 1920s. By, like, Clara Bow, by Josephine Baker. Um, uh, but basically, I, I also love 60s culture. 60s was my first love, and then it was 70s, and now it's a little 20s. But, um, my eyelashes that I'll do in a second, I thought were very twiggy at first. But then, but then I realized after I watched Cabaret that they're actually a lot more Liza Minnelli. Million years on this because I really need to get a bagel this morning. I will be so sad if I don't have a bagel. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I live in New York, so bagels are required to function. And um, I will say, um, I'm from Michigan, which I have to say, the bagels in Michigan are actually really good by New York standards. I'm not even joking. Well. 
I guess this depends on where you live. But I had a lot of really good bagel shops near where I lived. And so I've just been a bagel girl my whole life. Even though I haven't been a New Yorker my whole life. Um, but basically, by the way, in case if you're wondering, pumpernickel bagel. Always. Um, and sometimes I don't get cream cheese because, in my opinion, a good bagel should stand on its own. But if I am getting cream cheese, strawberry. Do I hate me? Actually, if I'm getting cream cheese though, I usually, I do strawberry and then I usually do a poppy seed bagel. But if I'm get, just getting a bagel, which by the way, yes you can, it can stand on its own. Also, I'm broke. Would you buy the Lord, I put a little light on and it just started playing an ad. Question. That was annoying. I'm sorry. Um, but I don't. Oh, Lord. I don't have to. I wanted to do a quick little one take video. I didn't want to open goddamn premiere. Anyways. Um, so I'm sorry if that ruined things for you. But I'm always rambling anyway, so hopefully won't. Anyways, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette that is literally four years old. I don't even know what it's called. It was from Sephora. It says shine bright like enchanted stars in the sky and they put that cute little message there to make up for the fact that there's no mirror and anyways i'm gonna go in with this color which is like gray i don't wear eyeshadow every day actually i didn't wear eyeshadow for a long time but i thought um i don't know ever since i actually started like i used to be in quite when i was in my 60s era i was quite a hippie and i was like i don't need makeup and then i decided that, that i wanted to be um um, pardon the word, but I wanted to be good, and so I started doing a lot more makeup, a lot more, um, just a lot more fun, because I realized, like, you can do makeup in a way that's fun, isn't necessarily, like, giving in to how, you know, to beauty standards, I guess, so yeah, I'm just gonna, like, put that on my eyes, also yesterday, I was at, I went to a deli to get a Diet Coke, because, um, obviously and there was this little girl who i was i kind of felt ugly yesterday because i wasn't wearing this full makeup look i was literally just wearing a little eyeshadow and lip gloss and i don't usually wear lip gloss i usually if you know me i wear my lips my favorite lipstick every single video but so i was like it was very simple and i felt like insecure about it and there's this girl who looks at me and she walked up to me and she like kind of did a double take and she like said this like she was surprised but she went wow, you're really pretty. And it like, she was like eight. First of all, changed my life. Made my whole week. It was so sweet. But also, I'm gonna do, oh, also, um, I just like, look up thinking about, I was like, oh my god, like maybe the eyeshadow is good, but anyways. So, when I do my wing, I used to do it downturn. People call it like puppy dog eyeliner. I did it downturned a lot. But recently I've been going up, and then if, I'm, if I don't know, I'll just go straight. I think I'm gonna go straight today, because I can't tell what I want. So, there's the wing. And then what I do is I just fill in a bunch of other lower lashes. And you'll see that process. So, so I do a couple of big ones. And then what I do is I fill them in with little ones. As you can see. It doesn't matter if they're like super straight. I do this like I've done, I do this look on the train regularly. I actually usually do my makeup on the train. So, I'm pretty used to doing this with a shaky hand. So there it is. There's a look on this side. And then we're gonna do I actually kind of wish it was downturned, but it's like sort of downturned, which is fine. But I'm gonna do a little blush. Just sort of like thing. <laughs> Not really. I look actually kind of blurry. Wait. I look over added. It's fine. I gotta do stuff. So I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna do another one. The only problem with going straight out is that I never know, like, how to recreate it on the other side. Down. Oh my god, that was bad. Down. 
I do think though when I do this look on the train, I am looked at like I'm crazy. And how I how I deal with that is I say, some people don't understand the look, and that is okay. I don't know. So I got like comments from people. I was at work um the other day and I was we were like doing this I work at a bar and we were uh at a party and this like kinda older guy walked up to me, very corporate, very suit. And he was like, are you wearing a costume? And I was like, no, this is how I dress. And he was like, oh, like, huh? And I was like, and it was okay, but I was just thinking about it, and I was like, oh my god, like, if you can't serve, just say so. You know? Anyway, so the eyes are done. It's like, beautiful. Very Liza Minnelli. This one comes. And then I do my lip liner each time. Oh my god, doing a fabulous on time. This is what happens when I wake up way too early. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna crash class. I know it. I am. I have my first class is two and a half hours, and it's on the Civil War. <laughs> so pray for me. Uh, also, I don't know if anyone. I don't really talk a lot about my personal life. I'm a history. Everything about me. Actually, I think probably some people probably thought I was like a theater kid, which I am deep down. But I have to keep it repressed because theater like sort of makes me depressed. I don't know if anyone else deals with this. I actually recently auditioned for a couple things and I was, I don't know, it was fun, but I also don't know if I want to be an entertainer like with my life. Like, I don't know if I want that to be my career because I feel like it's a very, I don't know, I kind of want, I want to do things that make me feel free. Theater is a very, like, I don't know everything about it. It feels very constricted. Like, I feel like I have to perform for other people. I feel like I can't be myself all the time. Which, like, as much as I love performing, I also feel like I have to, I don't know, bend to the will of others. Not that I have to, no. Wait, sorry. Like, I understand that, like, acting like you're doing something for someone else. But I don't know, just, like, being in an industry and trying to edit myself so that people will like me, so that I can network my way to, to getting what I want. Like, I don't know. I, I kind of hate that. So I'm still kind of debating, but I'm also pretty young. Um, so I'm still sort of figuring out what I want to actually do with my life. Do not ask me what I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing in two years, because I cannot give you an answer. Um, but anyways. Um, so this is supposed to be a makeup look. I'm sorry. So then we're going to do a lip planner. Um, this is, oh, should I be telling you the brands of things? I'm sorry. My, my eyeliner is e.l.f. Satin eyeliner. I love this because it comes with a little sharpener on the end. This is NYX lip pencil. It's so enough. I don't even know. It's it's NYX. I don't know. NYX. I don't know what shade this is. Which is going to be a shame when I need to rebuy it. Um, it says it says SPL07 I think. Guys. Something red. Oh, duh. Anyways. Where did I do the lip liner? I already put, oh, I did put lip balm on. I used Burt's Bees, and it's my favorite. I love Burt's Bees. It says, believe in magic. I know. So anyways. I can't do a single video without her. She's a little attention artist. She's like me. She's a performer at heart. Dips mine. Then we're gonna get my the, the, the creme de la creme of the look. Is oh my god, what the hell is on this? I just rebought it yesterday. Finally, after my my first one died. It's Red Revolution by Maybelline. It's my favorite. Everything. It's literally it's my color. Um, and it lasts so long. I will put this on once during like a seven hour shift and it will still be out when I'm done. So. I get it, bro. How I like to do my lips, and this is a little bit harder because this is a brand new lipstick and it's not like formed how I want it. But I, I love Bee Stung Lips, which was the technique that was used in the now, but it involves putting lipstick all over your thumb, which is um, too much effort. 
continue to put concealer over your lips? No, I'm not doing that every day. So I call it Lazy Girl Beast on Lips. So what I do is I take the tip of the, the lipstick and I just sort of press. And then I press again. And oh, this is better when it's more broken in. Um, because when I have it formed to the shape I like, I can literally just press, press and go. But since it's a brand new tube, it doesn't really work like that. I'm gonna kind of only apply it in the middle of my lips, because I really like that. So, look. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. Um, so as I said, Clara Bow is a very big, she's a big style icon for me. Oh, and then I just put it on my cheeks. I haven't bought blush in years. I don't know why. I don't get why cream blush is such a big trend when you literally already have lipstick. Like, that's what it is. You can use it as the same thing. It's not like a lazy, it's not like a hack. It's just, well, it's just makeup. Like, you literally can just use it like this. Anyways, um, so Clara is a big style icon for me. I love her. I've seen several of her movies. Um, you, you should watch her movies if you like her. I know, they're silent. What? She's cool as Angel. I feel like a lot of people like they they think that Lala is cool because they've seen like pictures of her, but then they'll be like they haven't watched her movies because they're silent films. Silent films, if they're good, you won't even realize you're watching a silent film because it's interesting. Like you have to remember, in the twenties, Americans were seeing more. Sorry, I'm still plugging this. We're seeing more movies than we have even remotely close to like. We do not even see like remotely as close. Like we see like one movie a month. America, the average American saw like one movie a week in the twenties, or like I think one in five Americans saw at least one movie a week in the nineteen twenties. They were like, girls were getting out there, and like, first of all, yeah, there was nothing else to do. But like, because like, what are you gonna do? Like, stare at a ballet? What did they do in the twenties? I don't know. But like, no, like, I don't smoke cigarettes. But no, seriously, like. It was good entertainment. Like, it was good ass entertainment. It's entertaining. Like, those girls know what they were doing. And, like, the best one. You should watch It from 1927 with Clara Bell. And it is not about the killer clown. It is about a girl who is the It girl. And she's the best. And I love her. Anyways, this leads me to my next rant. I am a little peeved. I'm not peeved. I shouldn't say that. I'm not trying to offend any. Oh, let me just say. I'm not trying to offend anyone who is a Swifty, um, because I like Taylor Swift. I actually, um, also I'm gonna do my last thing for my makeup because now everything else is done. I forgot to get my eyelash curler, but I've decided it's fine. And I'm just gonna put, I usually use an eyelash curler, um, but that's in the other room and the cat is on my lap. So we're just gonna do the L'Oreal, um, telescopic. I usually, I used regular telescopic, but I got the carbon black, and I think I do like it better. Um, I think it is a little bit blacker, so if that is something you want, I would definitely, it's the best mascara. One thousand percent, I would recommend it. Also, the other day, when I was doing my makeup on the train, I dropped this wand on the ground, and I did wipe it off and reuse it, so maybe I am gross. Anyways, also I hope my cat purring isn't why is she purring? I'm not even petting her. She's just satisfied with life. Anyways, so Taylor Swift. I, I do listen to a lot of Taylor Swift music, actually. But I would not call myself a Swifty because that is a different echelon and that is just different. Um, but anyways, she's releasing a new album and one of the tracks is called Clara Bow. Or something about Clara Bow. And um, it did make me mad. And not because I think that, you know, I can, like, I don't know if anyone saw that TikTok, but it was like, when when you have to gatekeep Timothy Chalamet, not Timothy Chalamet, but like Timothy Chalamet is playing with Bob Dylan, and you have to gatekeep Bob Dylan, and everyone was like clowning on her, because they were like, what do you mean, like, he's so famous, what are you talking about? But, um, and I'm not trying to be like that girl, like, obviously Clara Bow was like, very famous, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not gatekeeping anything, but I don't know, like, I feel like she is sort of like, for, like, people who know her and care about her life, like, for people who care a lot about old film, or like, vintage fashion, or just like, vintage icons, vintage, or antique, well, actually, I guess it's antique at this point, but, you know, 
like sort of vintage culture, stuff like that. If you're storing these people who are like 20s history, I don't know, but I just feel like it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be like everyone knows Clarabo, and I don't know, maybe I'm being overly like upset about nothing, but I don't know. This girl, she ripped her tail all over my lips, um, but I don't know, I'm just like. Everyone's like, <laughs> I'm like but, I, but I'm so much about her. She's my everyone. You, know, you don't know. You weren't there. <laughs> I wasn't there, girl. I don't know. I understand that it's stupid, but also, I'm kind of stupid. So, I'm not stupid, but I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm just a girl. Oh my god. My light went out again because an ad came again. Oh my god, it's been 20 minutes again. I tried. I short video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. So, I'm not going. If I just sort of hold my lashes up while I'm doing them, they kind of just stay curled. Even without the curl out. And this I swear to God, this is the best mascara. It's just like, I always do my lower lashes, by the way. I recently saw like a vintage article that was like, do not put, it was from like the 70s, but it was like, if you're a young woman, do not put mascara in your lower lashes. And I was like, like, I hate some like vintage fashion. Like I love vintage fashion ads, but like vintage makeup ads are so toxic. Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean don't put mascara? Like what? You don't want big eyes. Girl, girl, I'm beyond that. Come on. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, like sure, but then it's drama. Like, obviously. What I do, I mean, I do my top lashes, I do my bottom lashes, and that's the look. Oh, I'm gonna put perfume on as well, just because I thought that'd be an extra little fun thing. My favorite perfume. It's um, Love Kills Slowly by Ed Hardy. It's a very like it's a very old perfume. Not old, but it's like it's not like Chanel number no. five. But like it's um I don't know. I just remember everyone wearing this in like the early two thousands. Like my aunts and uncle and uncles. My aunts like my I don't know if my mom ever wore that. I remember people in my family, I'm just like cool, like hot people wearing it. And so I caught it again and I just love it. I think it smells so good. Sorry, I was just putting this on my back. Boom. Boom. Anyways, so that was the video. Here is my look. Boom. You can see it's really cool and sexy and fun, um, and I would recommend it for every day. I am not joking. I'm going to class. I do wear this almost every day. Is that what I do my makeup? Is this not like night on the town? Like this is just how I go out into the world, and I encourage you to do so as well because um, sorry, I'm just looking at myself. But you know, like the world's boring. Like be kind. Life is short. Be kind. Or night. You might be watching this at night because it's ASMR. Um, so if you're watching this at night, have an amazing night and sleep well. And 